Angles measure how far something has turned. They are measured in degrees. There are 360 degrees in a full turn, often shown as a circle around a point. So here, we know part of the circle is measuring 240 degrees. To work out the remaining angle, we subtract 240 degrees from 360 degrees, which we know is the total. So our answer would be 120 degrees. For questions number two and three, we add together the angles that we know and then subtract them from 360. So for question two, we add together 130 to make 130. And then we subtract this from 360, which tells us the remaining angle is 230 degrees. For question three, we add together 183 and 56 to give us 239 degrees. We then subtract this from 360 degrees, which tells us the final angle is 121 degrees. There are 180 degrees in a half turn, or on a straight line. Again, to calculate the missing angle, we must subtract the angle we are given from 180. So for question one, we need to subtract 60 from 180, which means the remaining angle is 120 degrees. For question two, we need to add together 15 and 107, which makes 122 degrees. We then subtract this from 180, which means the remaining angle is 58 degrees. Similarly, angles in a triangle are also 180 degrees. This means all three angles in a triangle must add together to make 180 degrees. So here, in question one, we add together 42 and 90, which gives us 132, which we then subtract from 180 to tell us the missing angle is 48 degrees. For question two, we only know one angle, so we subtract the 50 from 180, which leaves us with 130, which must be split evenly between the two remaining angles, so each angle would be 65 degrees.